Hello, everybody. Welcome to Mrs. Lin's kitchen. In today's video, I'll share with you another signature Taiwanese dish called Taiwanese meat soup, or rou gen tang in Mandarin. Rou means meat, gen is thickened soup, and tang is also soup. So it is also called rou gen or ba gi in Taiwanese. In Taiwan, this soup is just as popular as lu rou fan, and you can find it at many places like street vendors, night markets, or restaurants. This is one of those dishes that every family has a slightly different version. Like always, this recipe I share with you today is what I learned from my mom. This recipe includes two parts, making the meat nuggets and cooking the actual soup. You can find the timestamps in the description box to help you navigate through this video. Here is the ingredients overview. Traditionally, pork leg is used for making the meat nuggets. For people who doesn't eat pork, you can substitute with chicken thigh. In this video, I'll show you how both meats are used to mix with the fish paste. This is how fish paste looks like, and you can find it at Asian supermarkets like Ranch 99. For the soup stock, you can use store-bought chicken soup, or you can check out the link in the description box below for my easy homemade chicken soup stock. Instead of Napa cabbage, bamboo shoots can be used as well. Enoki mushroom is also a good addition to this soup. Rougan tang or Taiwanese meat soup doesn't require any advanced cooking technique, but the preparation can take quite some time because meat nugget is needed for this recipe. So let me show you how to prepare the meat nuggets first. Thinly slice two cloves of garlic. Julian 5 to 6 slices of ginger. Cut the pork into short strips about 1.5 inches long and quarter inch wide. Make sure to cut against the grain. To marinate the pork, add the ginger and garlic slices from 2 cloves of garlic. Then add half tablespoon of soy sauce, half tablespoon of rice wine. Mix well and let it marinate for at least 2-3 to three hours. The meat will be more flavorful if you marinate it overnight. If you don't eat pork, use chicken. Prepare ginger, garlic, and chicken the same way as the pork. Also add half tablespoon of soy sauce, half tablespoon of rice wine, and mix well. After the meat has been marinated, Take out all the gingers and garlics. Next, add half pound of fish paste into the pork strip and mix well. Make sure the fish paste fully coats each pork strip. Do the same for the chicken. Add half pound of fish paste into the marinated chicken. So now we have pork fish paste nuggets and chicken fish paste nuggets ready to be boiled. Bring a pot of water to a boil and then add in the meat nuggets. You want to add them one by one so they don't stick together. The meat nuggets that float on the surface are ready. You can take them out. Save the water that boils the meat nugget and use it as soup stock when making the meat soup later. You can always make fish and meat nugget ahead of time. I usually make a whole bunch and freeze them. And take them out whenever I want to eat real gen tang because the soup itself is very quick to put together. Let me show you how to make the soup now. Soak the shiitake mushroom for 30 minutes. Next. Squeeze out the juice and thinly slice them. You can save the juice for the soup stock later. Thinly slice the carrot and cabbage into quarter inch strips. Chop the cilantro. This will be used as garnish when you serve your soup. In a large pan, heat up a tiny bit of oil and saute the mushroom with 1 teaspoon of soy sauce until it's fragrant. Next, add 7 cups of soup stock to the pan. Bring everything to a boil. You can use the combination of the mushroom juice we saved earlier, the water that boils the meat nugget, or homemade chicken soup stock. If you don't have any of the above, 
The store-bought chicken soups that will do the job too. When the soup starts to boil, add sliced cabbage and carrot. Give them a good stir. Cook for about three to four minutes on medium-high heat. Next, add the meat nuggets. I added about 12 nuggets here, but feel free to add more if you like. In the meantime, mix four tablespoons of cornstarch with four tablespoons of water and pour it into the soup. Stir well. The cornstarch will thicken the soup. How thick the soup is is all personal preference. During the summertime, I like it thinner, so I use less cornstarch. I prefer a thicker soup during winter. Bring everything to a boil again. Lastly, add one to one and a half teaspoon of salt. Stir well, and your rogan tongue is ready to be served. To serve the soup by itself, add one tablespoon of black vinegar to a single serving bowl. Pour the soup over. And top it off with cilantro and white pepper. You can eat the soup by itself or serve with some steamed rice. To make real gan tang noodle, put some noodle into a large bowl. Add one tablespoon of black vinegar. Pour the soup over. And finally, garnish with some cilantro and white pepper. Real gan tang tastes delicious when served like this too. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. It's definitely a must try during the cold winter weather. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching and happy eating!